I'm here just outside of Bethlehem today. Today is the feast of the baptism of our Lord. So the last official day of Christmas. And we are here on our way to Bethlehem. But first, we stopped here at the fields of the shepherds. This area would have been where the shepherds were watching their sheep at night when the angels appeared just over that valley, proclaiming glory to God in the highest and peace to people of goodwill. Uh, so it was here where the, me the message was first heard by those shepherds. And we read in Luke's gospel that they got up in haste to go to Bethlehem to find the Savior. Um, uh, this is such a, a really neat place. I just found back here behind me a cave. <laughs> and I'll show you how I, I walked through this cave exploring it uh, and found where it comes up on the other side on the top of the hill. Uh, so had a lot of fun spelunking doing some cave explorations here. Uh, but before we leave, I just uh, thought I'd share a couple of thoughts here about the shepherds receiving that message. Uh, first of all is how God has prepared the world for the coming of his son. Um, most immediately through this announcement that he makes through his angels to the shepherds to go and find Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. But really throughout history, from the, from the first days, from Adam and Eve onward, um, Jesus, uh, God, excuse me, makes a, a promise to, to Adam and Eve as he condemns the serpent, the serpent, the devil, who tempted Eve. And um, uh, God says to the serpent that her heel, your, that your head shall be crushed by her heel, by Mary's heel, and her offspring will be at war with your offspring. Now, the very first mention of a, of a savior. And then how God prepares a whole nation, a people set apart, the nation of Israel, the Jewish people, uh, prepares them through the prophets and through the law to receive him at his coming. And then finally, how he prepares the shepherds here, how he announces the good news through his angels. And then the second thought is how in Luke's gospel, we are told that they got up in haste to go to Bethlehem, which is just over over this way, over that hill. And they got up in haste. And how we too should get up in haste, right? There should be nothing more important in our lives than God, than following him. And so uh, just, to, just something to really to reflect on. Is there anything else in my life that would keep me from getting up in haste when I hear that God is present, when I know his will for my life? Is there anything that I put in the place of God as something more important than him. And now is the time to renounce that. <laughs> now is the time to prepare the way for the Lord. Now is the time to put him first. And so I'll be with you again in just a few moments here when I reach Bethlehem to the place where Jesus was born. Outside the church of the nativity in Bethlehem this is where Jesus was born I just came out of the cave the cave that has an altar and underneath the altar is the place where he was born and we all as we passed kissed that place where Jesus was born and before that we celebrated mass in one of the side chapels here at the church it's just a very it was a very beautiful mass um, one thing that's really neat about when you visit a place Oh, they're calling me, it's time to go. Is that you get to um, celebrate the mass of the day that makes this place special. So of course here, what makes this place special is Christmas, that this is where Jesus was born. So we celebrated the mass of Christmas morning here, even though it's, uh, even though it's a couple weeks after Christmas, we celebrated the Christmas mass. And uh, something that struck me was just the peace as we, as we prayed in that mass. And there's, 
many things that we're uncertain about in life, but one thing we know for sure is that God is with us, that he became one of us, entered into the mess that is this earth and into our lives, and he is with us no matter what. So a beautiful day to be here in Bethlehem at the church in the nativity. I'll show you in some of the videos. Uh, this door over here is called the door of humility. And in order to get into the church, the nativity, you have to pass through a very narrow, very short door. You have to bow in order to enter the church. Um, and that, that humbles ourselves. That it, it, it shows that humility um, that our Lord had, that God had an even greater level of humility to, to descend down from heaven, to enter into this world. Um, he is the creator of the whole universe. And yet he humbled himself in taking on a human nature, becoming one of us here in this place.